working on the Hulk turned out to be exactly the kind of gig I wanted was as far as doing the version of the character I always wanted to do, which wouldn't necessarily have lined up with the creative visions of the artist and the writer working on the book. And magically in this case, it turned out to be one of the most exceptional takes on the character that's been done in several years because it got really back to the basics, the very first version of the character, the way that Jack Kirby had illustrated him as well as the tone of the character that it was sort of like, the Hulk was meant to be scary when he was first introduced. He was not meant to be a sort of uh, of Mice and Men type character of Lenny, you know, he was not supposed to be the gentle giant. He was supposed to be a scary Frankenstein's monster kind of character. And I got to put that in the art I was making without it being just this sort of separate commodity than the content. It was actually in sync with the concept of the writer. And then the artist was doing an exact match for the same tonal approach that I was doing. In fact, he would go on to do possibly the greatest work of his career, showing just enormous range of what he was capable of. So it was a really awesome collaboration to be part of, collaboration with people I've never actually met. So um, it's a weird thing in some of these gigs, most of my work history has been to craft projects with writers and interior artists in some cases, if in case I'm not the artist inside, uh, where I, I work with them hand in hand. I have personal conversations, we go over the material, we craft a story together, and the Hulk is more that more traditional commercial gig, but yet matching everything that I personally wanted to get out of it intellectually and emotionally. You know, because when you approach a gig, you, you have a certain feel for it. You wanted this job, hopefully. In my case, it usually falls into that category of either I say yes to something because of my personal interest and fandom for it, or I'm building something that I'm making out of whole cloth. And in this case, it's a lifelong connection to the Hulk. Um, obviously, I could say, you know, when I first encountered the character as a kid, but what made the biggest impression on me uh, that really stuck with me is it has this enormous part of the history of painted comics because the magazine that was created in the late 70s, uh, same time as the TV show, uh, I was getting semi-regularly. I have a bunch of those from, in fact, I have now a bunch of the painted covers, the original art for, all, for those on my wall, uh, paintings by Bob Larkin that I really loved. Um, and um, it was hugely inspirational as an artist, but it was also this thing of taking a comics character and successfully adapting them into something that felt a bit more real. And Hulk was a perfect fit for that because he didn't have a costume. His skin was kind of the costume, effectively. And so he wound up being um, this thing that blended in the world of magazine illustration with Conan the Barbarian and all the stuff that was popular at that time. And um, there was this long run of painted covers by different talented people, Ken Barr, Bob Larkin, Earl Norum, uh, so many people who cut their teeth on this character. And it made the superhero mythology seem that much more on deck for being taken seriously. That heritage and the way it affected me inspired my uh, desire to come in towards being not just a comic artist but specifically a painted comics artist that's something that it's nice to have the job on the Hulk book to kind of combine these influences together so I'm paying tribute to the thing that kind of built me when I was like eight years old